This is a PowerPoint that's ready to be customized and it tells you exactly what to do. Everything with stars and red, you need to change and customize the slides. So you just go through and you customize it accordingly. And it tells you right here, delete this slide before you get to the presentation. It is idiot proof. Okay? But as you go through this, I'm a listing agent. Additional resources. It's telling you there's other things that you might want to gather before you put this presentation together and delete this slide. You don't want to show this slide, obviously, to your client. But as we go through this, here's my market analysis. I can customize this, put this, the seller's name in here, prepare by me. Maybe I want to, over here, maybe I want to put my picture, whatever the heck you want to do. All of this is customizable. The reason you all need to be using something like this is because you forget Okay, especially if you're new, you forget, and this helps keep you on cue. So you put your picture there, or again, maybe you don't like this. Maybe you don't want to have a pretty young lady on your slide. Maybe you want to have a picture of a family there, or maybe you want to have a picture of a house, or a picture of. Uh, you, can, you can customize it. You know that the, how the property you're going to uh, is horse property. Well, maybe you want to have a picture of horses or somebody riding a horse or something like that. All of this can be customized. If I don't like this picture, I can highlight it, I can get rid of it. You can put your name, you can put your logo, you can do all the rest of that. So as you use this type of presentation, um, it just reminds you. That I'm an expert. This is what I do. This is my office. We've got five offices, we've got 200 agents, we've done this. Or Cobalt Bank or Corporate. Has, which you guys, you guys may not know this, Cobalt Bank or Corporate, we have offices in 50 countries, 3,100 offices, 84,000 real estate agents. Is it possible to get the stats? Yep. We don't, we don't have them. Where would you find those? Internet. Or <laughs> Cobalt Bank or Works. That's where you're going to get that. So you can plug all of those things in there, you can tweak those. So these presentations are fantastic, and this helps you remember. If this is the most recent presentation, in fact, this is truly the most recent presentation because this slide was just updated within the last couple of months. And this is true. Real Trends, independent 500 company, Cobalt Banker did $140.1 billion in transactions. Um, I don't know why they did it this way. The next closest actually was Keller Williams, then Remax, then Prudential. They kind of got the slide a little out of order as far as I'm concerned. Um, but at any rate, we did literally twice as much volume as the next closest company. Now you may be saying, you need to know this by the way, and this isn't a, this isn't a part of CB Works, but wait a minute, I saw something that says Remax sells more homes, right? Right. Or I saw, okay. Well, this is the deal. Global Banker is basically two different companies legally. But from a public's perspective, it's all the same. You have the Cobalt Banker corporate stores, which is referred to as Cobalt Banker NRT, which also, if you've, has anybody ever seen the signs that say Cobalt Banker residential brokerage? Yeah. Okay, if you ever see a, a Cobalt Banker sign and at the bottom it says residential brokerage, those are what referred to as corporate stores. When you see companies like ours, Cobalt Banker Pioneer, Cobalt Banker Town and Country, Cobalt Banker Realty Center, Cobalt Banker John Jones Real Estate, those are the independently owned and operated branches by, by individual brokers like myself. So when Remax says they sell more homes than any other company, they're basically only taking a piece of the company and they're taking a smaller piece of the company, which is the independently owned and operated stores. But if you take a look at all of the Cobalt Bankers, and the public doesn't know the difference. The public does not know the difference. They see a Cobalt Banker site. They don't care if it says residential brokerage or if it says town and country. If you take all of the couple of acres, well, more than double, more than double of the sales of the next closest competitor, which, by the way, is not Remax. So even, even the Keller Williams people, not that I want to make a commercial for Keller Williams, but the Keller Williams people should also be upset with when Remax says we sell more homes, because it's not true. And by the way, this is not Cobalt Banker data, this is Real Trends. Real Trends is an independent company that goes out and does that sort of stuff. And by the way, this is not like the first time in 30 years that this has happened. It's been this way every year for ever. For as long as I've been in the business, Global Banker has been the number one. Next time, you, every year, NA, NAR puts out the top, I think, top 100 offices, National Association of Realtors, that comes out of the magazine. The number one company every single year forever is Global Banker. So.
at any rate. But this is part, the, all of this information is part of the listing presentation, which is available through Cobalt Banker Works, and it was to just as easily to download as what we just did. Now, you, you need a little bit of help on the instructions. Well, I don't exactly know how to get the instructions. Well, click on the PDF. It's going to download my instructions on how to edit my presentation. Pull it up. I just had my computer redone, so it's probably going to give me some funky stuff. Here's the instructions on how to edit a PowerPoint. So if you've never edited a PowerPoint before, this kind of will walk you through the system, teach you how to, how to edit your stuff. It's all again available for free, which by the way, this is, this is all free. Okay, just log on, take advantage of it. I'm not going to do it, but if you had an iPad, you go on your iPad, you log into Cobalt Banker Works, click on the iPad presentation, you download it, puts it right on your iPad. And it puts it in a, what's the iPad version of PowerPoint? Um, what do they call it? Presenter? Whatever it is. It's the Macintosh, for a, the Apple version of PowerPoint. Okay? So, um, let's go back to the Get Listings. So, let me start back over. So, again, we've got our previews, we've got our seller services, home, home buyer ready marketing program. Okay, so you want to you wanna focus towards buyers. This might be the type of thing that you want to have available if you're doing a lot of open houses. Okay. Um, wow, I'm at an open house. I'm just kind of tired of, of just the typical open house and putting up some signs and, and I got a little flyer of the I got a little flyer of the um, house. Well, maybe I want to do something different. I want to. What do they have over here? Got home buyer ready ads and flyers. What are those all about? I don't know. Let's take a peek at. It. Um, so you click on here and they've got a, a downloadable PDF, which. You could put some stuff in here. I'm not going to pull this up, but it talks about getting pre-qualified, getting the market analysis, and doing a title search, and the importance of home warranty. There's little marketing pieces that you might want to use, maybe at an open house or something like that. Um, so you just got a variety of, of, of little things like that that you could potentially um, plug into your marketing if you're a home buyer. And there's an overview. I don't know what the starter checklist is. Let's take a peek at it. Again, it's downloading the PDF. It's telling me I've got something down here to download. By the way, this is this is Google Chrome, so if yours looks different on your computer, you know, refer to your computer. Okay, so here's just a one-page document on how to get this thing going. The following steps you can take: soon offering Cold Banker Home Buyers Home Ready Program, preliminary checklist, yeah, 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 yeah. all this stuff's about. So go in there, take a look at it, see whether or not you find any value to it. I will full disclosure: you're going to find some stuff that you're just going to say, ah, it's not all home runs. Okay, there's a lot of stuff that is home runs, but it's not all necessarily going to just completely knock your socks off 100% of the time. Um, I'm going to click back on the listing presentations, colmerbanker.com statistics. I haven't clicked on this in a while, so let's take a look at it. Let's see, what's, let's see if there's anything valuable in here that we might want to put into our presentation. 2013 year-to-day stats for presentations. What is it? Let's take a peek at it. Yeah, I'm downloading. This looks like a PowerPoint, actually. So it's probably going to give us something that says this is the number of people that have been viewing ColdBaker.com. This is where they're coming from. This is what they're all about. Um, and um, looks like it's open, ready to open. So here we go. It's unique visitors from January to May of this year. They haven't updated June or July yet. So the month of May, it looks like 2.4 million unique visitors to ColdBaker.com. Is that something that maybe one of your sellers might be interested in as part of a listing presentation? So what you would do is you would take this particular slide and you would rip it out and you would pop it into your presentation. Okay? And say, now again, this is why having this type of stuff, remember when I went back to the guy with the book? Like, oh God, here we go. Okay? When you're doing your listing presentation, this may be a slide that, number one, you don't even talk about. Because, by the way, you know you can print out your PowerPoint and you know you can leave it with the client. So you may have a 50-page PowerPoint presentation. You may never refer to it once. Or you may do what I would do, which I would do, click, 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 click. I would stop, 
take two seconds, click, 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 and say, oh, by the way, I'm not going to bore you and go through this entire thing. You can read this on your own. But I did want to point out to you that Cobalt Banker had you know, over 2 million unique users every month since the beginning of the year, and that's why we need to get your property on our internet. Blah, 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 blah. If, if I think that that's important to that specific client. Okay. Now, again, this is a, an example that I'm making up, but if I'm, let's go back to my horse property. And I don't know if this is, this is I'm making this stat up, but let's just pretend for a moment we sold more horse properties than any other company in the area, and we can prove it. Well, I might want to have a slide that I wouldn't use for anybody else except for the lady who I'm trying to sell her horse properties. Just so you know, we sold more horse properties than anybody else in, in, this, in the county of Riverside. But be able to back it up. Okay? So, again, you've got all sorts of fun, cool little things that you can download. Um, throughout these presentations. I haven't seen this. I'm, like I say, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I don't know if you guys find this stuff interesting, but I'm finding things that I haven't personally pulled up in a while. This is some Nielsen ratings. Um, again, it's another PowerPoint. So this would, this would also be a slide, probably it's two or three slides, that if we thought we would use them in our PowerPoint, we could copy that slide and put it into our presentation. And it looks like it's done downloading. I will tell you, the internet gods have blessed us this year, mm -hmm. uh, or this hour. Okay, Nielsen ratings, unique audience. Okay, these are television commercials. Okay, now I got to tell you, um, this is this is for last year. I don't know that this sh chart would have looked this good two years ago, because two years ago the Cobalt Banker commercials were not great. They just weren't good commercials. The commercials that we have today are pretty good, and apparently, according to Nielsen, um, our audiences likes our commercials better than the other commercials. Which, by the way, you say, wait a minute, I didn't know we had commercials, I've never seen them. Well, where do you get the commercials? CB Works. So we're going to get to that in a minute. Before we get out of here, we'll download, if you haven't already, we'll download the, the uh, television commercials that you can take a look at through CB Works. So again, you've got your presentations here, full year stats, so on and so forth. So I don't even know where I'm at. I get listings, I think I'm still on listing presentations. Um, okay, so we were at the statistics for the presentation, so if you want to get that type of information, that's where you would go. Increased listings, what's that all about? Referrals, Global Banker Global Referral Network, how do I get referrals? What can I do? Well, I don't know, let's see what they got here. You know, you go to the referral section and you're going to, you promise. Gosh, this is one of those things. Yeah, it's so funny. Ingrid's, Ingrid's new to the office. She's working on recruiting, and Ingrid comes to me yesterday and says, Gosh, Lance, it would be so cool if when an agent closes an escrow, we gave him a balloon and a payday bar. And I said, You know what? That is really cool. But what I didn't tell her is, Ingrid, that is the oldest idea on the planet. And everybody's done that, including us. And you know what? It was pretty cool. Why did we stop doing it? Okay? So... We say, yeah, go get some balloons and get some candy bars. And we close a check, we're going to put it on the agent's desk, right? We used to do that stuff, and we stopped. It was stupid for us to stop, which is why I always like to have young, fresh people come in and, and say, you know, number one, give me something young and fresh, but also say, hey, this is a cool idea. Yeah, I used to do that. Why did I stop? Which brings me to you, Promise. Does anybody know what this is? This thing is the we bomb. We used to do this. I, if I got something out of today's class, and what I got out of today's class is I need to go back and renew my commitment to You Promise. Now again, You Promise is a two-hour long class. You guys need to go check it out, okay? And basically, what You Promise is, in, in short, is you basically agree to participate in the You Promise program, and people will come to you and they will say, I see you're a you promise person. I think I want to list my house with you. It has nothing to do with Cobalt Banker. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with anything except for the fact that they are you promise people. And I'll give you the gist of what you promise is. Anybody familiar with it? Anybody ever heard of it? Okay, the concept is very simple. There are businesses out there, matter of fact, program at a glance, just to make sure I haven't completely lost my mind, it should give us a, a, a brief little description of what the program is. Um, number one, we have to commit to ourselves to be a participating vendor, if you will. There are people out there that subscribe to this, 
and the businesses that um, participate in U-Promise, if the consumer comes to your store, let's say you own a liquor store and you say I participate in U-Promise, and believe me, the U-Promise people know about it, every time they go to their store and they, they buy something from your store, I don't know what it is, I think it's like 3% of their purchase goes into a college trust account for their kid, mm -hmm. and everything they buy, and it's day-to-day -day stuff. Some grocery stores participate in it. They don't really advertise it, to be honest with you. It's kind of this mm -hmm. underground mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Um, so as a, as a real estate brokerage, 20% referral fee. I don't want to give 20. Yeah, you mean I got 20% referral fee for someone? Hey, if you wouldn't have got the listing to begin with, don't complain about paying a 20% referral fee. So I got to tell you, if, if you've taken nothing away from today's class, this you promise thing on the referrals is big. We did it for a while. I don't know what happened. The manager changed. I forgot about it. Kind of fell out of vogue. And the next thing you know, guess what? We don't get any you promise referrals because we're not on the list anymore. Because if you are a member and you log in, and you, I, there's certain criteria. I mean, you have to have a, a kid between zero, and you can't save for yourself. You have to have it like you have to designate these funds go to your grandchild or go to your kid. You set up a little account for them, and it literally puts the money, and then you could log on. You say, "Gee, I think I want to buy a pool. Who's who are the people that build swimming pools that are participating in you promise? Well, there's only one of them. Because I'm going to buy a pool from you. Pretty big stuff. Pretty big stuff. Okay, directories. We'll go through the CGRN and all the rest of that sort of stuff." Um, but anyway, there's some referral stuff in here. Uh, we're, geez, we're almost up on an hour. Okay, so I think on the increased listings, I think that's kind of the. Okay, I'm going to stop there. You guys can get. You can take. You can take a, a harder look at that yourself. Okay, sell listings. Sell listings is kind of the buyer side of the transaction. Get listings is hey, I want to get a listing. I need listing presentation tools. Sell listings is I'm kind of on the buyer side. So you've got a standard buyer services system. To be honest with you, a lot of people don't really think of a lot of marketing tools when it comes to working with buyers. I think, well, I kind of have a listing presentation. Well, do I need a buyer's presentation? Well, they have them. Um, so whether you choose to use it or not, here's some electronic tools, home buyer's guide presentation. I, I would think, by the way, the, that's what I was thinking for. The, the, I, the Macintosh version is Keynote. Okay, in the iTunes, if you use the um, iPad, it's Keynote. PowerPoint for the PCs and, and Keynote for the other. Um, so let's just take a quick look at that. By the way, this is free. I'm just, again, I'm just downloading it again. This is why, guys, as much as I get the old paper and pencil and presentation book and I'm carrying around my stuff, I got all my stuff here, and I'm going to go in, and I'm going to meet my clients. You cannot sell real estate with a pen and a paper and a, and a flip chart book anymore. You've got to have a notebook. You've got to have an iPad. You have to have a smartphone. I lost my phone. You've got to have a smartphone, okay? Because, number one, it's professional, and that's the way it needs to be done. Number two, that's what your clients expect. And that's what your clients have, okay? And when they're on Zillow flipping through properties like Johnny B. Good, and you're over there with a printed out page, 150 pages, and you're, you're like, what, what is this? I, I, how do I, it's not working. I can't seem to get to the, oh, oh, this is paper. <laughs> it's a book. They don't want that. Okay, this is a buyer's guide. Um, which is, I don't know how many slides it is, it looks like 14 slides. Now whether or not this is something that you would want to spend a lot of time with, with your particular, which by the way this can be completely customized. This might be something, let's just stop right here. Write in the offer. Once you sign the perfect home, I write the offer and ensure the paperwork will activities will be completed. Okay. That may sound elementary, but that might be something that you email to a buyer first and explain to them, hey, once you find it, I will write it up. And maybe you might even explain to them that, oh, by the way, you don't have to pay me. It gets, I get paid by somebody else. Okay? We've had this conversation in different classes. I cannot tell you how much business I've lost because I assumed that the buyers and the sellers understood how I got paid. 
I lost short sale listings because I just assumed you realized that you didn't have to pay me out of pocket the 6% that the bank would done. And I find out later that you didn't list with me because you didn't have enough money to pay my fee. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't tell you that. Or how many buyers, do you know there's a lot of buyers running around out there that don't understand two things. Number one, they don't understand, am I gonna have to pay like a commission here? Do I have to pay you? I don't want to, you know, you might be, they, you might, well, how come nobody wants to look at property with me? Well, maybe some of them think they have to pay you at the, before they show you property. You need to, maybe you might want to explain this to them. Send them an email, give them a start, and say, no, 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 that's not how it works. But you also might want to explain to them, oh, by the way, you don't have to pay me, but the only way I get paid is if I show you a property, you write the offer with me, and we close escrow. That, I don't, it might even say that somewhere in here. Closings, enjoy your home. It doesn't look like it gets that to that much type of detail. But that might be the type of thing that you would want to put within a slide. Especially first time, younger buyers, they never bought a house before, they don't understand the process. There's agents that don't understand the process. I've been interviewing a lot of brand new agents yet. I, I bet half of them have that. They're, 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 they just signed up in the office. They don't even know how they get paid. <laughs> they're, made, they're selling the property. Is that how it works? Is that what I get? Wait, so anyway, these buyer services things are pretty cool. Um, and again, I'm not saying that this is something that you would necessarily sit down and go over with your buyer and take a 30-minute presentation, but it might not hurt, or it might be something after, hey, I just spent an, a, the day with you. We haven't found anything yet, but let me give you this nice, not this, but let me give you a nice little folder with my information. These are a few things that we did. Oh, and by the way, there's a whole little process here on how the whole buying process works. Qualifying, why it's so important to get qualified with the loan, importance of doing home inspections, how I get paid, the whole shot. Give it to them, let them go home and look at it. Anyway, so that sort of stuff is on here. Um, what else do we got on here? Um, okay, looks like that's it for that particular group. Buyer's targeted marketing program. Previews, it's the same thing. It's the different side of the, of the listing coin. Are there buyers out there that are specifically looking for high-end properties? Now again, they may not be buyers that you and I are accustomed to working with, but there are people in Europe right now looking to buy a $5 million property in Laguna. Oh geez, that's, I'm not really connected to that. I don't understand that. Okay, well then, then don't pay any attention to it. But if you think that that might be a market that you want to connect with a little bit, there's information on how to deal with that luxury market. You know, every now and then I'm on at some resort or on vacation somewhere, and I'll, I'll go into the little store there, and I get one of those really expensive magazines, like the, like the Rob Report, or with the, the beautiful cars, and I look at it and I say, oh my God. And then I think to myself, who in the world buys this stuff? Mm -hmm. You know, like, like $300,000 watches, and million dollar cars, and, and you know, crystal that's, you know, a million dollar set, tea set. Okay. Well, there's people that buy that stuff, okay? Well, there's also people that buy this. Uh, by the way, there's all the same type of people that buy that also were investors that will buy a $200,000 rental in the Inland Empire. Okay? So, again, all that, that marketing stuff is there. Tons of stuff in here. Um, oops. I want to go back to sell. Um, did we go to property marketing? Mm -hmm. Okay, online marketing, open houses. Hey, I want to do an open house. Let's get some tools and tips on how to hold an open house. Click on there, there's information in there. Online property marketing, I want to market online. I want to market on a website. I want to do email marketing. I want to do a print ad template. I want to do whatever I want to do. There's all sorts of cool little stuff in here for you to download and take advantage. Again, there's, there's more than you could probably even deal with. Uh, let's just take a look at the print ad templates real quick. Um, you just want to do a quick little flyer on something and, hey, open house this weekend. This is a PDF. You pull it off the site, you edit it, and you and you go. All right, it's all done. Okay, let's just download it real quick. Now again, you can't do this with the basic version of Acrobat. Um, you have to have um, the version of Acrobat where you can edit stuff. So you gotta spend a little bit of money. Go get the go get that version of Acrobat. And um, here it is. Do you know that we're not professional flyer makers? 
You know how many agents I'm pretty sure have become professional flyer makers? I'm by people's desk all the time. What are you doing? I'm working on a flyer. <laughs> I walk by three hours later. What are you doing? Oh God, I'm still, I'm still, I'm, I'm going to get this dang, I'm going to get this picture uploaded. What are you doing? We're real estate, we're sales people, we're selling real estate. We're not, we're not, we're not marketing people. We're not, we're not the, we're getting some trucks and we're getting some new business cards and Ingrid's been really helpful doing a lot of stuff like that. I guess I could do that, but it's not, not the best use of my time is to going out and creating a new logo. I'm not that creative. I'm not, that's not who I am. Don't spend all your time doing this. You want to hold it? This, this looks pretty good. Is that okay? Yeah. Sure, that's fine. You get the, you get the version of the PDF that you go in here. You, you put your name up here. Maybe you change the text a little bit. You put your name here. Maybe you pop your address. Maybe put your picture somewhere. Done. Four or five minutes. Sprint and go. Okay. Is there anybody in this room that spent hours trying to create something like that? Yeah. I have. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> Don't do that anymore. Driving me crazy. Okay, so you've got all sorts of cool little things like that. And there's a whole bunch here, I think. You scroll down and yeah, there's just there's just more. I don't know what these things are. These are templates for oh these are these are templates if you wanted to run like an ad in a in like a home buyer's magazine or something like that. So anyway, you've got cool little things like that, some print ad templates. This is I, well, I'm, I won't go through the identity standards, but if, if you do decide you want to send your stuff over to a printer or something like that, um, you can pull up a quick copy of the identity standards. It tells them what color is this. Is this blue? No. This what is this? P T P M S two ten. This is not blue. This is P M S two ten. That's a Pantone matching system. There you go. Because that's, <laughs> no. that's blue, isn't it? That's blue, and, and, and that's blue, and no, it's not. So that's why when these people order some stuff, you're like, well, that's kind of a weird looking blue. It look more like a purple blue. In some cases, if it's just an open house flyer, you don't really care, no big deal. But if you ordered a whole bunch of business cards that you want to use, you don't want to run around with a purple blue business card. You'd like it to be the Cobalt Bank or the PMS 210. Okay, so these are your standards on how to do that, how it works. For example, look at that logo behind you. Is there a difference between that logo and this logo? This is the test, not the color. Okay. <laughs> is there a difference between these two logos? No. Is there more space, is there more blue up here than there is over there? Okay. That is a violation of the identity standard. What looks better, that one or this one? This one. Yeah. You know why that one's chopped off? Because it used to say something else. It used to say Cobalt Banker Shepherd Group. They went out of business. I stripped their stuff off the bottom of their sign. And on the top of it, it had some holes. The top of it had, had some cracks on it, so I cut it off. Okay. I figured, you know what the heck? It doesn't look too bad. But that is a violation of Cobalt Banker's identity standard because this looks better, doesn't it? Okay, so when you're doing your advertising, check out your identity standards. Okay. So that stuff is on there. So, so again, when you when you go to your printer, if you ever go to the printer, and I, I, get, I don't know what color is the blue. It's all here for you guys. Just come here and pull it up, and you can print this out at three o'clock in the morning on Saturday, anytime you want. Um, national websites. Now, obviously, we've got the ColobalBanker.com, we've got ColobalBanker previews, we've got the secure site, which most of you probably have no idea what it is. Um, this is the secure site, coldbank.com. Excuse me, coldbank Cold works is the secure site. Okay, update profile, manage leads, and all the rest of that. But again, coldbanker.com. This is important. Now, again, I don't want to turn this into a coldbanker.com deal, but as long as we're talking about it, this is another one of those things. Okay, this is the cobaltbanker.com site, which is linked from our website. This is our picture page. But can I get to the home page from here? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's thinking about it. Okay, this is the type of thing you periodically want to come and you want to check out. You want to make sure your picture's up. You want to watch your video. You want to make sure your contact information is correct. Can I find me? Am I in the right spot? Did something change? 
I want to find an agent. Who do I want to find? I want to find, I can do a name, Marsh. I don't know if this is going to come up or not. It should. If it doesn't, I might want to figure out why it's not coming up. Is there something wrong? Is it Deborah DeMars? Oops, I'm a Debbie. No, it looks like Debbie got a bingo. Mm -hmm. Okay. So her stuff is correct. Did she change her? Oh my God, I changed my cell phone number six months ago. I forgot to update. Is my email correct? Is my fax correct? Is the office number correct? Is this my, you know, is all this stuff right? No, am I still happy with my picture? Am I still happy with my video? Am I happy with my stuff? Okay. Is it there? Because this is this is where you got to. This is where you really got to think through this. You're, what, it's there today. Some technological bugs happen all the time. That's why you have to when you have to check this stuff every month or two. I don't know what happened. There's a ghost in the machine. My picture was there before. Now it's not. Or now all of a sudden my old email address is there. Why did that happen? You got to check that stuff out. So, at any rate, so we've got the. Information on websites, top data requests, this is interesting, top data points requested for listings on Cobalt Bank. I don't know what that is. I'm intrigued. What is that? What does that mean? Does it mean what I think it means? Cobaltbanker.com's, ah, this is what people are requesting the most. Number one, the number one thing they're asking for, I guess that they're not getting, would you please give me more photos? I would suggest that interchangeably that means, would you give me more photos and a video? We're bad. We're bad. We don't put enough pictures. We're selling. We're, we're going to make a, a three percent commission, a six percent commission. We're going to make thousands of dollars. We have these. It's so easy now because we all have these cameras we're running around with all the time. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Take an extra three minutes and give more photos of your listing. Because the buyers want more photos. Yeah. Some of these agents too, they use outdated pictures. You, you, you see some nice pictures on the MLS. You go there, and the house is a mess. Right. Mm -hmm. Front yard's oh, dead, and you know. Right. <laughs> and we don't use video. Apparently, we're doing a bad job of giving them proper lot size and acreage. And I understand that because you know where that information comes from. It comes from the multiple listing service. And the way a lot of the times it's listed in the multiple list listing service is either wrong or confusing. People don't understand. How it works is most MLSs don't give dimensions. A lot of people, they don't, they don't 10,000 square feet. I don't understand 10,000 square feet lot. Okay? I don't understand that. I understand 100 by 100. 100 feet. Okay, I got that. 10,000, what does that mean? Or 0.21 acres. What does that mean? How many, what square footage is that? So the consumers are, are, are asking for that. They don't want room dimensions, what the property is, property style, square footage. So this might be some things that you would want to, potentially keep in mind when you're marketing to your buyers. Are we doing the good job at this? Are we giving our clients enough of this information? Apparently they did a survey um, first quarter of this year. And this is, not, this is a survey in our site. This isn't concerned. The, the people who go to our site say, this is what's missing from cobalbanker.com. You guys are doing a bad job. Please do better. Um, okay, online company tools. Sales associate profile page. Right now, everybody has a profile page just because we pay for them. Okay? That doesn't mean that everybody has a photo. If you went back when we were looking for Robert, there were several, matter of fact, we've got a, several new people in here. Let, let me show you exactly what we're talking about. Let's go back to, again, this is our website. And I'm going to go to Marina Valley and I'm going to say find an agent. Okay, now this. Our, per, our company website redirected us to the corporate cobalbanker.com site and it's now listing our agents. If we have an agent, and by the way, you will not be on top. There is one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six agents that have videos. The six people that you just saw will always be at the top of cobalbanker.com. If you want to be one of the six, number one, Monica, you need to upload your picture and you need to upload a video. If you don't upload a picture and a video, you will never be in that top six. And those six people will constantly be rotated through the top. Right now at the top, just to show you how this works, because we just did this once. Um, Rose is at the top. 
I think if I click here, and then I click, oops, I don't like that. Let me, well, let me just close this. Let's do it again. Back to our site, redirecting us back now. Chase is on top, but he needs to come on. Basically, it doesn't work here. He's got a license here, but he's not working here. He needs to come on. We, we, we close it. We go back again. We go rally. Somebody else is going to be up top. George is going to be up top. But it's only going to be those six people, which, by the way, the only one of those six in the room is Debbie. It'll take you 20 minutes to get a picture and a video uploaded. And if you don't, if you're working on your video, my suggestion is stop working on it. <laughs> Upload it. I need fix to redo it, my Fix it later. I was so going to show you guys Debbie's, but it's so bad. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs a good laugh. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, this is the deal. One. I thought it was good. It but it's better than <laughs> nothing. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Right. Better than nothing. Okay, mobile real estate. Real estate. Who has, is, do any of you guys have the mobile app on your phone? Hey. Put the mobile app on your phone. Again, well, I'm never going to use it. I'm not using it. It doesn't matter. Show it to your client. Give it to the kid. You're at the listing presentation. You pull up the Cobalt Banker mobile app. I better have it on or I'll be embarrassed myself. <laughs> Here it is. You pull up the Cobalt Banker mobile app. Has anybody ever done this? You got the listing presentation, the little little kid comes up, he's four years old, he's bugging you. Here, take my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time the parents, the, well the kid will take it, the parents, the kid will start chewing on it. Then the parents will, no, 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 you can do it, he's going to mess up my phone. But I got to tell you, that's a sales technique. <laughs> I Number one, they just, oh my God, this guy just gave me his phone. This guy really wants to work with this man. And they feel, oh my God, they put a little tooth mark in the corner. <laughs> This guy is listening because we just defaced the, the farmer's phone. And give him your iPad. Throw it at him. Okay, so we got information on the on the mobile websites, um, um, which again is going to be a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger thing. REO distressed and short sales. You want to get some stuff on that. What do we have available now? Again, this is not quite as big of a deal as maybe it was before, but. We've got some training stuff on how to help you out with some distressed properties, REOs, and whatever. What do you want to know? Here's, a, here's the um, SFR, which is the NAR certification course. There's an online course, classroom course, short sales. CR this, these are the CRS classes, by the way. Anybody in here CRS? You need to be CRSs. Everybody in here needs to make a goal to get their CRS. All right? It's a good thing to have. Certified Residential Specialist. It's a designation put out by NAR. You might want to start with your GRI, which is the Graduate Realtor Institute, but the networking of CRSs is fantastic. We're going to take a two second time out. Let's see if I can find the catalog. Oh, well, thank you. My video sucks. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> no, it really does. <laughs> it is terrible. Did somebody help you with it? Huh? Did somebody help you with it? No. Put it on a tripod? No. Did it all on my own. How'd you have the video? It didn't come out. You took the video. Believe it or not, it on I, a, had, on a I had a ladder. Oh, you stuck it on there? So that I could balance it on the ladder. <laughs> I'm having a tough time finding my CRS book, which is shameful. But let's pretend this is it because it's about this big, it's about this thick. And every single page has got, I think, six agents on it. California, Nevada, New Mexico, Arizona, yada, yada, yada. It's referrals, referrals, referrals. If you are a CRS, I don't know what the stats are. We could probably find out very quick by doing a Google search. If you have your CRS, you are in the top 7% of income earners um, based in the National Association of Realtors. Just by the fact that you have the designation. No, it doesn't automatically mean they start sending you checks, but the people that have the CRS on balance are the top tier agents and they do referral business and guess who they give the referrals to? See. Other CRSs and nobody else. 
You know how many CRSs are within a five mile radius of this office? One. I think three. Okay. I'm one of them. You're one, yeah, and I get phone calls all the time. It's just referral business. And the very first thing that they'll ask me is, hey, I'd like to see your CRS. Yes. Hmm. Are you still active? Yes. <laughs> okay. Get your CRS, it's business. So at any rate, CRS has partnered up with Cobalt Banker and they're offering some of their online classes for, um, to get, and by the way, that also goes to your CRS designation. Okay. Here's a replay, REO Market Trends forecast, this is a webinar that they did, and here's a PDF of probably the webinar. So again, all sorts of cool little stuff in here. Let's look at the Promote Thyself. Um, advertising and promotions. I'm not going to go through every one of these buttons, but let's just take a look at a couple of them. Um, so what do you got? <clears throat> Life camera action. Ah, video submission contest. And when it, this is actually old. No, I take that back. This is not old. This is running right now. Consumers who submit videos will have a chance to win. This is a consumer thing. I don't know anything about this. This is probably running. Actually, this is, looks like it's upcoming. Okay. Maybe we talk to our customers and say, hey, submit a video, got a chance to win 25,000 bucks. I mean, they can't participate? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. We'll click here and we'll find out. We'll see what it's all about. Um, the 2013 Cold Banker um, ad campaign. Um, I don't know if this has the, um, I don't know if this has the television ads on it or not. Let's find out. Get a little dialogue on what the ads are. TV ad, we believe 60 seconds. By the way, you need every, these are all YouTube videos, but you need to... We believe, we believe in home and all the magical things that come with it. We believe in forts made from sofa cushions and blankets, licking the frosting off the mixer, and hanging masterpieces on the refrigerator door. We believe in gardens and that the sun recharges your soul. We believe in sending your neighbors smoke signals and celebrating for no reason at all. We believe in Friday night sleepovers and Sunday morning sleep ends. We believe in the man cave, the woman cave, and having a lock on the master bedroom door. Finally, we believe your home really is your castle and that our calling in life is to find the one that's perfect for you. That's why we have the best Nielsen ratings. That's a damn good commercial, guys. Mm -hmm. I got goosebumps. Mm -hmm. I literally did. You know, you got Tom Selleck's voice. You got the kid from, that's a nice little screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you're going to get with YouTube. That, that's got to be a, uh, young that's got to be a Carl's Jr. commercial. Right? Young women. Uh, let me get that off the screen right away. How do I get it? Oh, goodness gracious. Who was YouTube with that? Um, <laughs> I just, I just, it got me so flustered, I just logged out of the Gold Maker Works. Oh, Lord, what are we going to do? What happened to my... Actually, I logged myself out. You backed out real quick. I did. I backed out real quick. I had a panic attack. Quit. That's great. Um, actually, I'm surprised it didn't log me back in. Oh, wait, maybe I'm not. Okay, so we're back in. Um, so now, those television commercials are huh? pretty darn good. <laughs> you should have. We're doing by in on. We logged in with mine, but yet it came up with. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> that's that's how did that happen? That was weird. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Yeah. Actually, I probably logged in as both of you. It was weird because normally, I don't know if you guys have noticed this with Cobalt Banker, when you log in once, and then you'll log out for the day, and then you just go back to the site. You don't normally have to log back in. I don't think we might not have, it might have just saved the cookie for, for Robert, so to speak. Uh, let's try that again. Does anybody do that? Do you guys, everybody, anybody log in more than, log in and out once or twice in the same day? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, well you should not have to, okay. Yeah, it just, it just saved, must, I think it must have been caught in the loop. Um, so, at any rate. So, the television commercials, guys. You need to have those television commercials. You need to have them saved on your YouTube profile page. 
Um, if you, by the way, and I haven't done this, but let me let me show you how cool this is and how easy this is to do. And again, get this on your iPad. This might be one of those things that you just, this might be why you want to use your iPad at a listing presentation. This may be the only thing you want to use your iPad for in a listing presentation. Um, I'm going to go to YouTube. And I don't know if I'm logged in as me. Okay, I am. Every, if you guys, everybody have, should have a Google username and password. If you don't, get a Google username and password. Your Google username and password will link you up here. It says Lance Martin, so I'm logged in. Okay, my home page, if you will, for YouTube is our Global Banker channel. It's got all of our training and our classes and all the rest of that sort of stuff. But one of the things that you might want to do, let's search um, Coldwell Banker Commercial 2013. Okay, so here, here they are. Which is the commercial that we just did? I think this is the one I think we just watched. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. that, we does that look right? We, yeah, yeah, that's it. We believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so go ahead and open it up. Add it to your... Let me turn this on mute where it's playing. Um, which, by the way, I haven't subscribed to the Cobble Bank. I need to. I need to subscribe to them. So I'm now subscribing to the Cobble Banker stuff. So then if the next time Cobble Banker Corporate posts a new television commercial, okay. right? It's right there. Right? So I think I've done all I need to do. I think I might have actually already saved it. So, okay, so there it is. So now I'm, I'm watching my UFC because I like UFC fights and I obviously like girls with, from the <laughs> Carl Jr. commercials. And um, so, but now I want to go back. I'm in the middle of my, my presentation. I just have this preloaded and ready to go. And it just, it just, it's just ready. Now, this is a mobile app. This is, this is all the stuff on Global Banker. And I, and I queue up the commercial I have. I just have it sitting there on my iPad. It's ready to go. Okay. And, and again, that may be something you want to use. That may be something that you don't want to use. You, you guys use your, um, you guys use your, um, your judgment on that. What did I do with, the, did I log off of the Cold Banker Works again? I went to YouTube. I lost my Cold Banker Works connection. So at any rate, you've got to get those commercials. I'm just, I'm just a huge, huge believer in um, utilizing those television commercials. Um, matter of fact, Inger, we should be sending a link to that YouTube video to maybe our new agent recruits. So by the way, check out the 2013 Couple Banker um, commercial. Now you may say, is there anybody saying, well gosh, Lance, I haven't seen that commercial playing very often. I have. Okay. Well, good news, bad news. The good news is it plays. The bad news is it doesn't play 24-7. So if you wanted to get the schedule, if you specifically wanted to know, where am I? Promote myself. Good. Advertising. And I think the actual schedule is posted here. Ad campaign. 2013 ad campaign. And I think down here will actually list when it's playing. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, there, there's more commercials, by the way. That was a 60-second ad. There's a 30-second ad. There's also a 50 a matter of fact, let's play that 15-second ad real quick. Um, this is the same, basically the same commercial, except it's a real short one. You got Tom, I was going to say the kid, the, the American Idol guy. What was the kid who won American Idol last year? Um, Pete Peterson or Jake, Jacobson or the two first names or whatever. Um, anyway. All right, so there we are. Um, now here's the schedule. All right, just the one? Yep. Mm, yeah, it's on, online. Did I grab the wrong one? The top one is the TV schedule. Oh, we didn't want that. And it's, it's actual the print one, right? Oh, here we go. Media calendar PDF. Okay, so you want to know when these commercials are running? It's a PDF. Now, again, you may or may not want to put this in your um, in your presentation. You use your judgment on that. But if it's important to your um, to your buyers or your sellers, actually, this is a lot more than I thought it was. Mm -hmm. 
Let me go back. Let me. Jeez, I haven't seen a C. Dang, I learned another thing. Okay, so what's going on? This is the 2013. I, this is something we should. I should probably be doing to you guys at a sales meeting. But you very well may want to pull a slide or two out of this. Okay, the 2013 is going to be bigger and bluer than ever. Isn't that great? We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to do this. Um, we're blue carpet. If you watch the Golden Globes, and we watch the Golden Globes, this is already passed, by the way. Golden Globes, I think, are in like February. We were all over the Golden Globes. We were advertising everywhere within that. Um, 55th Academy Awards. Anybody watch the Academy Awards? Any Grammys? Coal Banker commercials were all over those award shows. Um, the 85th Annual Award Celebration, the Oscars, the Emmys, and that's, we're just not saying these are cool. What we're saying is we advertised our business during these shows. Um, and the 4th of July, Macy's Thanksgiving break. So these are upcoming. There's stuff with the Rockefeller Christmas tree lighting. That'll be done. Um, we're doing the New Year's Eve celebration. Um, a bunch of NBC stuff. Try through. There's a baseball thing. Anybody watch ESPN Baseball tonight? We're one of the sponsors of ESPN Baseball tonight. Okay. This is a smaller, this LXTV is a small NBC affiliated cable channel, but their Cole Becker commercials are on there as well. Um, open house sponsorships, that's what we were just talking about. ESPN Baseball, we were just talking about. Um, I don't know what that's about. This is the calendar. So this is what we're doing. We did the award shows. We're June, okay, we're dark. Okay. Not going to see a lot of Cobalt Banker commercials this month. Matter of fact, according to this, you're not going to see any Cobalt Banker commercials this month. And we're going to do the Emmys. We're going to do whatever this is. There's some sort of people.com. I don't know what this nonsense is. There's some award shows and stuff like that. So they're scattered around. They're not on 24-7. They're not like the Geico commercials. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys don't, we don't pay enough franchise fee to be Geico. Um, but if that's, again, if that's something that you think is kind of cool and kind of important to you, then um, I'm really struggling keeping this page open. Um, and there's a, I don't even know what that is. We're running out of time. I don't want to go through this, but there's a PowerPoint, apparently, that talks about the We Believe the campaign, which if you cut the theme of the commercial is We Believe in, in Kids and We Believe in Backyard, bar, backyard Barbecues mm -hmm. and We Believe in that sort of stuff. That's the whole tagline that they're using in this ad campaign, which is a lot better. Who was with us when we had the two old guys, Cobol and Banker, on the walls? And pretty, pretty bad advertising campaign. Okay, awards and rankings. If you guys are into that sort of stuff, this is not internal. If you want to know, hey, I want to be the top, who wants to be the top agent in Cobol Banker, United States? Or California. Okay, at least, can I get an amen? I got a couple of them. Okay. <laughs> if you want to know what that takes, here you go. If that's your goal, and I would like to think that that's at least a few people's goal, I, the top agent in this office, right, I want to be the top agent nationally. Okay, well, this is what you got to do to do it. You know, it tells you exactly what the guidelines are and what the production. I'm not going to go through it, but it's all there. PR. Who wants to do a press release? In the, who wants to see their name and picture? And again, this is another one of those things. This is like Ingrid coming to me and saying, can we please give some payday bars to our agents? Okay? God, we used to do that. Why don't we? We've hired one, two, three, at least four of you have been hired into this office in the last couple months. Have any of you seen your name? Ingrid, I'm talking to you, actually. Have any of you seen your name in the Riverside Press Enterprise? that says you just joined Donovan, just joined Cobalt Banker Town & Country. This is what Donovan's all about. If you want to reach Donovan, he can be reached at his cell number. Has any of you seen that? Shame on Ingrid. It's <laughs> Ingrid's fault. Because okay? you know why it's shame on Ingrid? Because you know how easy it is to do that? And you know how expensive it is to do that? Number one, it's super easy. And number two, it costs nothing. All we have to do, Ingrid, I'm watching. is pull up one of these little press kits. Matter of fact, you don't even have to get it off cobalbanker.com. You can get it off of darn near any newspaper. Just say, hey, I'd like to send in a, um, a human interest piece, public relations piece. We just hired a new agent. Or we're doing a buyer seminar. 
or um, you know, we, we're or we Cobalt Baker Pioneer Real Estate is changing its name to Cobalt Baker Town and Country to align all five offices, and we want to do a big group picture, we want to big an article, and we want to put that in the newspaper on Sunday for free. <laughs> all we got to do, I don't know why this. Oh, it's not going up because I'm clicked on it. All we got to do is um, fill out the press release and send it to the paper. Now, if we send it in today. That doesn't mean that Johnny's picture is going to show up this Sunday. It might not be for a month from now. But they stack them up and they say, all right, just throw them in there. Okay? Here's a whole little, if you wanted to write a little, if you're looking for information on, well, what's the origin of Cobalt? Here's the thing on Cobalt Bank of Corporate, where we came from, so on and so forth. You do take the same thing and you change it. You turn it into the local office. All sorts of cool little press stuff that we can do. And it's all sitting here just waiting for us. It's just waiting for us to... Um, Come in and take advantage of it. Um, I mean, these are bios. These are press releases on the corporate guys at Cobalt Banker. But those other press releases and public relations, there's just other ones. I'm not going to pull another one up. I'll just give you the... Um, well, maybe I will pull another one up. <coughs> okay, here you go. I'm, I'm not going to go past this, but local fill-in-the-blank releases. This is local. This is you. Okay. And by the way, even though I'm saying, hey, we need to do that, we being Ingrid and I, you don't have to wait for me. If you want to fill out your own press release and say, um, now again, you can't put something in the paper that says, result is hoping in an open house this Sunday and get a big thing. You can pay for an ad like that. But this free ad, they're not going to take that. But if you wanted to say, um, Griselda at Cobalt Baker Town and Country is um, going to be sponsoring the Girl Scouts um, Cancer Benefit Drive next Tuesday and yada 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 and this is what it's all about. It's a great cause and you know Griselda would encourage you to please join us on Saturday from one to four o'clock at the park. They will put that in the paper, guys. And quite honestly, something like that, if you call them up, get it into this weekend's paper today might be a problem. But if you called them up like on Monday and said, Hey, I'm doing this really cool thing and we're gonna have it at an event at the park on Saturday and would you please help me out? Not only will they put it in the paper if it's a big enough thing, they'll send a photographer out, take pictures of it, and then they'll put another article in the paper about it next weekend. Guys, and again, oh, there's so much stuff in here. I just, I can't even tell you um, how I, I get excited when I go through this stuff. Um, community involvement, it kind of ties in with what we were just talking about. It tells you how to put those sort of things together. Um, online agent tools, personal websites, you can do on what we talked didn't talk to no, I didn't talk to anybody in here about it, I don't think. But you can do your Cobalt Banker um, personal websites through Cobalt Banker. Cobaltbanker.com. They're not the best in the world, but they're better than nothing. Okay? So if you want to have your own personal websites, you can go in through and you can do it in there. It tells you exactly how to do it and how to customize all that stuff. Um, management business. <sighs> what do we got here? Actually, this is back to Debbie's. Debbie's got the admin thing I was looking for. We should have stayed on Roberts when we were there. That's where I wanted to be. Um, what's on your Manage My Business, Robert? Are you on there? Yes. What does it say? It um, starts with Customer Satisfaction at the top. Okay. Coma Banker News. All right. Well, let's just stop right okay. there. Um, very, 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 very few of us. Improving customer Ooh. retention is vital yes. to profitability. We're on the video. One way to improve retention relies on your ability understand customer expectations and deal with problems so as they talking to me. Well, and you, well maybe. customer satisfaction survey measures your customers' overall satisfaction and loyalty by capturing their voice in real time, so you can always provide an optimal real estate experience. Best of all, the program is at no additional cost to you. The Coldwell Banker Customer Satisfaction Survey is a great way to demonstrate to your existing customers that you care about their opinions beyond the transaction. Turn it negative. I'm going to stop right there. Has anybody ever gone in and got their oil changed at the dealer and you get a phone call the next day? Mm -hmm. Says, let me take good care of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same thing. We're selling three, four, five hundred thousand dollar houses, and most of us are not calling our clients back after the fact and saying thank you. Or, how did I do? Or, even from a management perspective, Hey, Robert just closed escrow. You know, I'm his broker. I'm, you know, Robert's been with me for a long time. He's a great agent. 
I'm just calling as this broker to see did he do a good job for you. Mm -hmm. okay. We don't do that. We need to do that. With this cold banker customer satisfaction survey, is, it's an automatic system. You got, all you guys have to do is sign up for it. When we talk about we'll trying to get good information, when you guys are putting information into Skyslope, um, seller's name, address, phone number, email, buyer's name, address, phone number, email, that information gets transmitted to Cobalt Bank or Corporate. If we check the box that says they want a survey at close of escrow, they get an automatic, it's not a phone call, which it should be, that's something that we should do internally and you guys should be doing individually. But um, Cobalt Banker sends them one of those email surveys, which a lot of people are like, you know, which is fine. You know, I, I, who has time to fill out the survey? I've thrown thousands of them away. I've deleted thousands of those emails. But you know what? If I'm pissed off, <laughs> you can fill it out. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? That's the But the, you know what the crazy part is? Sometimes you don't. You have a pissed off client, and you don't even know it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be nice to know? You thought. Mm -hmm. you, not only did you think you had a good client, you thought you actually made a friend during the transaction. Mm -hmm. But you didn't realize that, and believe me, I know this to be true. I'm doing a lot of these type of classes. It seems like every time I do a class like this, I make somebody mad. Especially now that I'm videoing them. <laughs> I say something wrong. We had a less than appropriate Carl Jr. commercial show up on the screen. Okay. I didn't even realize I offended somebody, I didn't even realize I made somebody mad, and then I find out after the fact. Oops. Oh, wow. I did not intend that message to be taken that mm -hmm. way. Okay? So at any rate, these customer satisfaction surveys are really cool, and you can send these to, now again, the way this is set up, this is set up <coughs> only to be sent out to clients that you've closed business with. It's not necessarily, I've been working with 15 buyers, I haven't even opened escrow yet. If this is not designed to say, you're working with Debbie, how's she doing? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that you couldn't take the ideas involved with this. Has anybody ever um, used um, SurveyMonkey? Nobody? SurveyMonkey's super duper cool. SurveyMonkey, let's Google this. By the way, what's even best about it? It's cool. It's free. You fill out your own survey. How was the sur I'm going to send the survey to these people. How was today's training on CobalBanker.com? Question number one. How did Lance do? And I can give answers. Good, bad, average, poor. Um, was the class too long or too short? I can we can fill out 10, 15 questions. We can fill those out. Take the time to create a little template. You create it. You save it. You put a little database. In this case, if it's maybe if it's just one client, I want to send this to my buyer. Click send. It doesn't cost you anything. They get an email. They click on a survey from, from, from Johnny. It says, a survey from Johnny Sampson at globalbanker.com. Hmm, that's weird. Huh. Johnny would like to know how, many, how he's doing. You know, has he shown you? And by the way, you can, it can be kind of a generic. Has Johnny shown you any properties yet? It might even be a leading kind of a survey. It hasn't, has, no, he hasn't shown me properties yet. Hmm. Is he expecting to show me properties? What did Johnny understand your needs? Do you feel that Johnny was listening to you? Did Johnny show you properties you weren't interested in? Okay, so you can make the survey to be almost like it's coming from from somebody other than Johnny, or you could write it yourself. And you can ask any questions you want. And you can, you can cue the answers any way you want. Yes, no, I don't understand. You can make them fill things out. Send that to your own clients. Would it be interesting? Who's shown a couple, three, four buyers properties in the last month? A couple, three of you. Wouldn't it be kind of cool to come up with about 10 questions and send that survey to them anonymously and see what they really thought about how you did? You know, I kind of like the question was, did Lance listen to you? Yes or no? Did Lance... Do you feel Lance understands, truly understands the type of property you're looking for? No. What? I spent a whole weekend with him. I thought I understood. My God, this buyer doesn't even think I know the type of house they're looking for. Why? Well, because I told Lance I wanted a single story house in Sunnyby Ranch, and all he did is show me two story houses outside of Sunnyby Ranch. They told me they wanted a single story house in Sunnyby Ranch? <laughs> This is, asleep, guys, this is free. And you can 
set this up. And it's not doesn't it doesn't take it's not super duper techy. Okay? So at any rate, um, this again, this is not coldbanker.com. This is a and there by the way, SurveyMonkey is not the only company that does this. There's tons of companies out there that do this stuff for free. And you can send these and do all sorts of cool stuff. But I will tell you that customer satisfaction survey through Cobalt Banker, we should all be taking advantage of it, and we're not. Okay, we're running a little bit out of time, so I'm going to um, I'm going to stop. I'm going to go over here to CBU um, under the learn under the learn tab. Obviously, we're doing some classes in here and so on and so forth. But there's other things in here for you guys to take a look at. And again, I'm just going to highlight them. The Blueview Learning Portal. The main one that hopefully you guys are more familiar with is Cobalt Banker University. This is an overview of it. This is some videos. As a matter of fact, maybe we might want to pull up a CBU promotional video. Um, I will tell you, and shame on me, because I've recruited four of you guys in the last couple of months. Did, let me, before we play this, did I even mention to you guys CBU once? No. Not once. Oops. This is why I want Ingrid in here. Because Ingrid's going to get some of this stuff together. And this might be one of those things that, geez, how come we're not leveraging CBU? What is CBU? Well, CBU is exactly what it says up here. It's Cobalt Banker University. It's a whole litany of training classes on stuff, most of which is free. I'm actually not going to play this video. But when you guys get yourself logged into um, the registration site, when you get yourselves logged in to the registration site of Cobalt Banker, okay, this is CBU, Cobalt Banker University. So what's going on? Um, discounted NAR courses available. Cobalt Banker is offering the discounted NAR courses. Green 200. I don't know what that is. It's probably a, a, a class on selling um, you know, mm -hmm. energy efficient houses or whatever it happens to be. Um, the ARB is taking place September. Or ARB, I know what that means. I can't remember. Something broker registered. Um, there's a thing on social media because we all got to be social media sad, right? So they got a thing going on regarding social media webinar. Most of which all of this is for real. Um, Boost. None of you have heard of Boost. None of you have heard of E Fast Start. There's at least, yes, everybody in this room should be either in Boost or E Fast Start. Most of you should be in E Fast Start, and those of you that have been in the business for more than a year or two should probably be in Boost. Okay? These classes are just basic supplemental training classes. Actually, they're not basic, they're in depth and they're good. Okay? Um, if you're already using Lead Router, you don't need the Lead Router class. Um, for a lot of you who are new, you've heard Lead Router, but you haven't got any more information on Lead Router. Well, you got to start with the Lead Router training class. You can't use Lead Router until you take the Lead Router training class. So there's all sorts of cool. Let's start specialty markets. The one thing I thought, there's one thing actually I missed, and maybe we don't have it anymore. Um, oh, ABR, Accredited Buyer Representatives. Where does it show us what classes we've already taken? Um, I don't know. Let's go back to that in a second. Um, so these are some classes. This one's 99 bucks to get that certification. This is also going, this is the one that they're doing in Vegas, by the way. Um, the introductory class is free. Um, recruit and retain talent. This is a, this is a recruiting class. This again, we're logged in as an admin. This is, um, you know, something again from an administration standpoint you might want to take. The E-Pro designation. It's not bad. Anybody ever seen an um, agent with a business card and on it says E-Pro? Yes. I have. I don't know that that's, I don't know that the consumer understands what that's all about. I will tell you though, this is a darn good class for 149 bucks. Darn good class, mm -hmm. you know. You. Here's that green class we were talking about. Mm -hmm. so there's all sorts of stuff, there's all sorts of training materials in here that are good. Debbie was asking um, what her... I see what classes she took. Yeah, I know it's on the home page or somewhere, isn't it? Well, your transcript... You don't have anything going on. You have nothing in progress. It doesn't look like they have you down. Oh, you took a breakout. Okay. I knew I had taken something. Okay, you took a breakout class um, a year ago. Was, was it any good? Yes. Yeah. What does the status mean? <laughs> the status mean right now it's it's over. It's an after the. It's possible. I, I'm telling you these classes, even after the classes are over, 
you could log back in and maybe take a look at the materials if they've got some like PDFs or something like that. Okay, so, so that's if it says no active, show, it, click it, it on may just be... What's that? See the tab for completed? Oh. Completed. Why doesn't it show me completing the... Uh, uh, mandatory agent maybe training. Maybe the oh, broker yeah. needed to sign off. Well, no, that's <laughs> a possibility. Uh, could be anything. I don't know what achieved is. You're an underachiever, Debbie. It's archived. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't read. I was like, Thank you for letting me know I'm an underachiever. My <laughs> or? And I'm getting tired. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so Cobalt Maker Universe, there's just tons and tons of stuff here, guys. I mean, there's just there's just there's just so much information here I can't even emphasize. This is literally just the elephant. Okay. Now we we've spent almost two hours just going through stuff. You really just might need to kind of go through, look for. I will tell you. Let's not. I don't want to. I don't want to oversell this. And, and this is what I found to be a little frustrating. Okay. What do you want to find? Let's see if we can find it. E cards. E cards. Okay. Well, we did. Credit cards. E cards. E cards. No, I got it. I just kind of. I got it. Yeah. I got it. So. Um, this is a Wall Street Journal um, trends the e card, the proud card. This is how to create one. This is blue and home buyer. So let's see what this Wall Street Journal one is. I think this is the one with the stacks of money um, that we just did. Ah, okay. This is actually creating it. Now, you have to go through and set this up. Okay, this isn't actually giving you a copy of a card. You go through and you have to set, I'm not going to go through this entire process. But this is setting up. How you want? What do you want the card to say? What's your information? What do you want? Because then it's going to ask you to download the information, your database of emails, and then it's going to send them out for you. And the card that it's going to send out, if I'm not mistaken, is the, I don't know if it has a picture of it. There's like 50 cards. Um, the e-marketing tab. Is that, is that where it is? Go down to e-marketing right there too. Go down right there. Ah. And then go over to um, e-cards at the top, top left. There it says e-cards ah. create. And it gives you a, a couple to choose from? Oh, it's give a bunch. There's a ah, bunch. Ah, see, there we go. But it looks like you have to set yeah, you this up first. Yeah, you got to do your first. settings, yeah. Yeah, Debbie hasn't gone through and set this yeah. up, so you can't, apparently you can't see what what, um, what, what Robert's trying to direct us to. Yeah. But there's a bunch of cool little, Ingrid's using a few of those, although we're using them, and we're not using them through Cobalt Banker Works, but it's the one with the stacks of money, and Cobalt Banker agents earn 130% more than whatever. They even have the I Believe e-card in there. And the, okay, there you go. Yeah, super sweet. I got like 60 that are ready to go off for the next holiday. But again, so that's how that works. So if you're in theory, you're looking for that. So now I'm doing open house. So I'm gonna so I come in here and I can't remember where Lance said to go. Okay, so you have open house. Thank you. Here's a postcard. Here's a printout. This maybe this will take us to that open house printout that we, we we were looking at before. It looks like it tried to download something, and I think it's right. It's, it's downloading it right here. So. That search tool, in theory, when we, we were going the daisy chain way to try to find it. Um, is it open? So it's done. Yeah, and there it is. Okay. So, uh, I, which actually it makes me really happy because I've experienced um, less than um, fantastic results with the search. So how about TV commercials? TV, downloadable customers, TV ad, TV calendar, um, we believe 15 second ad, we believe video. Okay. So you come in here, you just you don't have to type in the whole thing. Matter of fact, I suggest you don't type. The less you type, the better, because I just did a TV and I'm getting this sort of stuff. The little girl watching TV. I'm curious as to. Yeah. Oh, just real quick. When it says 134 eligible listing, that's office listings or something. Yeah, those are listings. What do you where does it say that? Oh, oh, it's 134. Those are listings that are basically within so your listings. The system. But Debbie's logged in. It. She has an admin oh, profile, okay. probably from back in the day when we were had a little different relationship. But that's what that's talking about. 160. This this can, this is the office profile. This isn't an individual agent profile. So what this is saying here is that there's 134 listings within the system that meets um, coldbanker.com's criteria. That's yeah, pictures. We could have a thousand 34 pictures, but if they don't all have photographs in them, if they don't have all the pertinent information, they're not eligible. Okay. Agents with profiles. We actually have approximately 218 agents in all five offices. Mm -hmm. Only 162 of them don't have profiles. Half of them are in this room. 
you don't have a profile yet. It's not your fault, we just haven't got you set up yet. I don't think any of our newer agents have profiles yet. So, again, that's, that's an admin job that we need to make sure we get you set up. You just got your business card yesterday, you got a mug shot. You can't have a profile without a mug shot, by the way. So, that's why we did picture day the other day. I don't want to take my picture. <laughs> I'm not going to come. How, who knows how many people that we have already took pictures? Four. Not very many. I took mine. Four. No, you don't even count. I don't. Oh, she she counts. <laughs> My heart broke. You see, that was the thing. That was the one thing I said. I thought I was doing so good. And I just, I, now Ingrid's going to quit. You don't count? I didn't mean it like that. Of course you count. But you don't count in this count because you're not part of that count. That's what I meant. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, at any rate, so, and we've got five offices with profiles, which is nice. Um, so, but anyway, let's get back to this thing. Now, I don't know, this is, this is why I like playing around in here. Sometimes you stumble across today. Does anybody remember what I stumbled across? You promise. Okay? I gotta tell you, Ingrid, make a note. Remind me, we're gonna you promise ourselves here first of next week. But I don't know what this is. Little girl watching TV, I'm intrigued. I might wanna put that in a marketing piece. Oh, it's an image. Oh, we haven't even talked about the image library. Okay, we have an image library of images. So let's suppose, remember I just earlier told you, I don't want you, um, I don't want you, what do I not want you doing? I don't want you to be flyer makers. Well, you can't help yourself. You're going to make flyers. That's just what real estate agents do. This is, where does it say little girl watching TV? Um, I don't see that. Uh, okay. So let's just suppose I wanted to girls with dog, study time, study time, spaghetti time. How cool is that? It's spaghetti time, slumber parties. Is this alphabetical? Uh, no. Oh, well, anyway, somewhere in here there's going to be a little girl watching TV. Thank you. So, there, uh, little girl's I want to create, create an ad. I want to do something that's impactful on a piece of advertising. And I think one of these images might be cool. These are images that were ripped from the TV course. Here's the man. Oh, here, the little girl's playing or something like that. Um, what's that young child looks like playing at the drapes or something like that? Okay, so let's suppose that I want to do something with this image. I don't even know what this means. I think it's just going to give me a picture of it. These pictures are all available and they're licensed to us and we can legally use them in our marketing. And there's thousands of them on here. Okay? When I was a young aspiring agent, who remembers clip art? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. heard okay that back in the so day, <laughs> if you wanted to make a flyer, you'd sit down at the typewriter, and then you'd go to the drawer. The typewriter? You know, what's that? And you pull open the drawer, and you grab a big old thing, and you go through. So I'm looking for a picture of something, and you, oh, there it is, and you take it to the copy machine, and you make it bigger, you make it litter, you clip it out, that's why they call it clip art, mm -hmm. and you would glue it to your flyer, wherever you wanted it, and then you take that back to the copy machine, and then you make your copies. God, we've come a long way. <laughs> okay? Now, I'll tell you, I was the king of clip art. I was a farmer, and I would go out, I don't care how hot or cold it was, I'd go to my farm, and I'd have my 300 flyers, and I would go out, and you know what the best image, and I think it's still the best image of any image today, on any sort of marketing piece, is a baby's face. You take a baby's face, it has nothing to do with selling a house, and you just put a baby's face up in the corner of that, and for some reason people just can't throw that damn thing away. <laughs> it's just too cute. I, yeah, I gotta show this to my husband when he gets home. I think I'll just put it right on the kind of, it's just so cute. And even the men. I feel this tough man. Mm, yeah. <laughs> a cute little girl. Okay? I put baby faces on everything <laughs> and my phone would ring off the hook. So now this is a little different, but you take a little pal, look at a little girl standing out the window, so on and so forth. And there's images of all sorts of stuff. And this is, I mean, don't, like I say, don't go crazy. Now, now granted, what do we have today? We have a massive library called what? Google Images. Mm -hmm. I go into Google Images all the time. 
depending upon what you get, you don't always get good quality. It gets a little grainy if you put it in your presentation. Sometimes it has like, a, like something restricted over the cross of it. Those pictures are not always available and free. Another cool thing about this is a lot of these <coughs> images. Um, did you notice the TV commercial? Are we politically correct or what? They have every race, nationality, creed of every type in that video. You got black, you got white, you got Hispanic, you got uh, purple. purple, pink, whatever. Every, I mean, you got to have that. We were talking about a marketing piece that we did the other day, and, and the girls were laughing at me, but it was true. The marketing piece we did was too white. There was a husband and a wife and a kid, and they were all blonde, and they looked like straight out of Sweden or something like that. <laughs> and I'm like, we're not using that picture on our marketing piece. Okay? It doesn't work. We've got to round it up a little bit. Or mix it up a little bit. We can't have that. And every, you've got images of, of everything. You've got husbands and wives, and, and there's, there's probably, you know, um, you know, gay couples, interracial couples, all sorts of stuff in here. So you take what you feel you need and you put it into your marketing piece and you... And again, all this stuff is super... And these are high quality images too. I mean, this is, I mean, it doesn't look like it here. And the lighting in here is awful. But you, you just click on like that image with the little girl, which you couldn't really see it very well. But this is a decent, high quality JPEG. And again, the lighting is in, in here is awful. But this is this was taken out of the television commercial with the dad and his kids playing basketball or baseball in the backyard. It doesn't look it on the screen, but if you put that on a marketing piece, that's a nice. That's going to reproduce beautifully. Good piece. Okay, it's three o'clock. I think I'm done. Let's just quickly go through. Let's go back to the home page real fast. Okay. Um, Again, lead routers are a totally separate class. Coal Banker Secure, you guys do, sh you should all go to Coal Banker Secure. That's where you make sure your information is correct. Mm -hmm. Check out the websites. We did most of the marketing. We talked about that. Coal Banker University email, the video lookup tool. That's the on location, which we didn't talk about. Um, awards tracker, which we didn't talk about. You just, frankly, you guys just need to spend some time here. Okay? As you can tell, I mean, I don't know how many downloads we did today, but we downloaded probably at least 15, 16 things. And charges for any of it. It's all sitting there. It's all available. You're paying for it.